Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp Pro Partner. In this very short tutorial, I'll demonstrate how you can add contacts in MailChimp, both importing from a spreadsheet such as Microsoft Excel and adding contacts one by one. Let's go across to MailChimp. I'm in my MailChimp audience at the moment. I'm viewing my contacts, as you can see. So let's say, for example, that we have a spreadsheet. You can see I'm in Google Sheets here, but you could be in Microsoft Excel. You could have your contacts in here, as many contacts as you want, whether that's one or one million or more. You can add your contacts here into a spreadsheet and then we will copy and paste them across into MailChimp. The only mandatory field is the email address field. You have to have it in MailChimp. You have to have the email address. You can have other columns such as first name uh, and you can see that is not mandatory. I've only got it for one person, the first name, uh, in this case myself, um, in the this, in this spreadsheet. It also doesn't matter in what order your columns are. It also doesn't matter if you have a header row or not. It really doesn't matter. So what we'll do is you go ahead and just copy all your contacts. Just contact, you know, all, all the rows that you've got your contacts in. Uh, you'll copy those. Come across to MailChimp. So to add those contacts, we click Add Contacts. I will demonstrate Add a Subscriber in, in a few minutes. We'll click Import Contacts. And now we're going to follow the prompts. Do we want to import from another service, upload a file, or copy and paste? The easiest is copy and paste. We'll click that. We click continue. We click in this field, and I'll just paste. You, you paste in your contacts. Don't worry that it's gone down so many, um, so many rows. Uh, that was just because I selected the entire uh, columns in, uh, sorry, the entire all the rows in in Google Sheets. It looks a bit messy. Don't worry about that. Click continue to organize. And we'll just wait for this to load up. You may have multiple audiences, so you'll select the audience you want to add those people to. Your status, subscribed, means people can get your emails. Unsubscribed, if you import them as unsubscribed, you won't be able to send them email marketing. And if you send as non-subscribed or clean, you also won't be able to you won't be able to send email marketing to those people. So we'll send to subscribe because I'm just assuming, well, these people have agreed to they have my email addresses. They have agreed to get email marketing. Update any existing contacts. What that means is that if that person, that email address, is already in your audience, should MailChimp update that person with the information that you've pasted in? Or if it comes across that same email address, should it just ignore that information from, that, that you pasted in? We'll click continue to tag. Tags are a way of labeling people or categorizing people in MailChimp. You don't have to tag people. I'll just leave it empty for now. We'll click continue to match. And MailChimp is saying here, match up the fields. In this case, they're white, so MailChimp recognizes the fields, first name and email address. But let's say this was last name and not first name. It was wrong. I could just click the first name field and we'll get a drop down and we could select a different field if we really wanted to. We could even create a new field at this time. But it is first name, so I'll click confirm and we'll click finalize import. You can always rewatch this video. And by the way, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. We'll click complete import. Let's go back to view our, our audience dashboard. And what we'll do is we'll just view our contacts and just make sure that these people have imported and we can see them there. And if I went right across and click and sorry, viewed last change, you'd be able to see that's today's date, for example. Uh, but I have now imported those people. So that's importing from a, a spreadsheet. I can add people one by one by clicking add contacts, add a subscriber. And all you would do here is enter the email address enter any other information that's uh, pertinent. You would need to select this person gave me permission to email them and make sure you do have permission. And you would click subscribe and that's how you'd add a person individually. But thank you for joining me. My name is Gary from organicweb.com.au.